Alright guys, so the 2.2 framework came out two days ago, actually three days ago because it's midnight. I'm making this video for you guys to show you how to jailbreak the 2.2 firmware a day after its release. Well, two days. And it's with QuickPwn 2.2 or Ponage Tool 2.2.1 or QuickPwn for Mac. This is a Windows video, but QuickPwn for Mac is essentially the same thing. So I'm going to the computer screen now to show you how to jailbreak the 2.2 firmware on iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPhone 3G. But if you're on the iPhone 3G, do not update to the 2.2 firmware because if you want the unlock, then you're going to be screwed. But if you don't want the unlock and you're good how you are with your carrier, then go ahead and update. And make sure you are on a freshly 2.0'd iPod Touch or iPhone. I just freshly updated this. No themes. Alright, so here goes. Uh, in my download link that I'll give you in the video description, you will have this for the iPhone firmwares. Or the iPod Touch firmwares and the iPhone firmwares. And you should download this one right here that says iPod 2.1 5G77A. So just to clarify that. And this should be a Mediafire link for QuickPwn 2.2. That's that. And now you will get a .rar file like this. It says QuickPwn 2.2. So you just extract your files with WinRAR or whatever you use. If you don't have an extractor, I'll put one in the video description. And just save it to your desktop. It's probably the easiest thing to do. And click OK. Just takes a few seconds. And you will get a README, which is basically pointless. And the QuickPwn 2.2. So just double click and open it up. And it just takes about 5 or 7 seconds. And there it goes. So just make sure your iPod Touch or your iPhone is connected to your computer via USB. And you're good. So here goes. Just click Next once it's connected. If it's already connected. Make sure you have the 2.2 firmware downloaded for the iPod Touch. And it will search for it. And it says that the correct IPSW name should have 1.2-2.2. One, one, Whatever. And it's searching. Oh. Alright guys, sorry for the weird cut, but I was just messing with my computer. Alright, so it's checked it. It's got the right firmware. It should look like this. iPod 2.2,1 underscore 2.2. And it's checked. So just make sure you downloaded the one I showed you. So just put add Cydia, add installer, and replace boot logos if you want. Add Cydia and installer default. Just click next and it says please ensure your device is connected via USB before continuing so just click next because it is and it says put your iPod into DFU mode I mean waiting for your iPod to connect into recovery mode it should be automatic and it does it by itself and it says hold on the home button for five seconds what I'm doing put on the home and power button for 10 seconds do not let go of home I'm doing that too just like this I'm showing you it says release the power button and continue to hold the home, which is what I just did. And you'll be able to keep seeing this with quick pwn showing with 20 seconds left. It just stop at about 15. And it says wait while your iPod is prepared for jailbreaking. That white screen, normal for quick pwn, don't worry. And it should have your little status bar down there. It should just fill up quickly, just say please wait. And you can just let go of the home button after you get the white screen. And do put the camera there. And I'll say exploding, uploading exploit bootloader, then uploading images, and then uploading RAM disk. So make sure it's in that order, which it should be. And you can get a screen like this on your iPod with, you know, one of the installer icons. And it'll say downloading jailbreak data. Dot, dot, dot. And it'll keep saying uploading RAM disk till the bar is full. Um, sh should I keep going and show you guys all the screens, or skip down? We'll see how the jailbreak goes. It's perfect, and then it's the uploading device tree. Uploading kernel. And, you know, ponage process appears to have been completed successfully. Please wait for your device to reboot in its newly modified With a big check. And the big status bar at the bottom failed. And it'll still say downloading jailbreak data with the spin wheel. And I will cut the video off here. 
and come back to you guys if anything else develops on my iPod screen. Be back in a sec. So here we are. It says flashing NOR, same jailbreak screen from 2.1, with the status bar at the bottom with the pineapple, running pineapple. And you know, nothing new should be in quick pwnage. It just keeps saying pwnage process appears to have been completed successfully. Please wait for your device to reboot its new mod newly modified state. And it'll be flashing in a while for a while. All the rest of your jailbreak stuff, you know, common and, you know, installing bundles. I'll come back to you guys again in a few. Alright guys, so the running pineapple didn't take that long. Just flash your NORs and installed your bundles, kernels and everything. Probably jailbreak to you. But after it's all done, you should get the very famous pineapple metal on your screen. And it should look really nice. And your Apple iPod should reconnect to your computer. And it'll boot up. And I'll come back to you guys when it's done booting up. So many come back to you guys, but sorry. Alright guys, so my iPod finally booted up to about 5 minutes. Which is a long time for boot times. And yours might take less long, but mine took that long. And I'm going to the iPod to show you it's completely restored on the 2.2 firmware and it's jailbroken. Here goes. So it's newly restored to the 2.2 firmware let's go to general about and where was that version 2.2 you can see that right there 2.2 and it has all my apps on it every single cracked app and cracked apps do work with the 2.2 firmware. That's just a clarification. There goes installer 4 and Cydia. And for some reason, all the settings I had on the 2.1 came back to the 2.2. Like T Mobile Carrier. It's weird. And as you can see, I have 22 updates in the App Store, which is bad. But, you know, I'll have to update them all later. And just to show you that cracked apps still do work on the 2.2 firmware, let me open up Crash Cart something a lot of people have gotten cracked there it goes keeps going and if it didn't work it would have crashed by now and that's cracked apps on the 2.2 firmware jailbreak for the 2.2 firmware with quick phone all the descriptions in the video and I will edit, edit this make it nice as possible thanks for watching please subscribe